Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. It's your girl Roxy and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm just gonna share with you guys um, my Valentine's Day hair and makeup. So um, my hair is freshly washed and I'm just gonna get it molded and prepared um, for styling. So I'm going, what I had done, sorry, was used a leave-in treatment and I used the Infusium 23 treatment in my hair after I washed and conditioned it and I combed it out um, and then now I'm just putting in some mousse and as you guys know I use the Nairobi rapid shine foaming lotion and I'm just gonna and I'm just working that through my hair um, in order to create my mold and as you can see here I'm creating a lot of waves um, right now and usually I create finger waves even even though I end up combing them out afterwards but I don't know it's just it's just a habit but um yeah I'm just gonna sh show you guys how I create some waves just along the front and the sides So now that my hair is molded, I'm going to use my wrap strips and wrap my hair. So after that is um, set in place, I'm going to go under my hooded dryer and I believe I was under the dryer for about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so my hair is dry, I'm taking off the wrap strips. And now it's time for me to finally put on some makeup. And so I primed my skin using MAPS Prep and Prime. So, and this is on top of my moisturizer that I've already used. I'm just rubbing that in. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my eyebrows. So I'm just using a dark brown eyebrow pencil just to fill in my brows. And um, if you guys want to see how I cleaned up my brows using Nair, I'll leave the link, the link above. So to clean that up, I'm going to be using some concealer and I'm using the LA Pro Conceal in the color Fawn. So I'm just, um, just outlining my eyebrows just to highlight it. And then once that's um, like outlined, I just use my buffing um, brush and I just blend that in. To set my eyebrow um, concealer, I'm just using some set and smooth um, setting powder from Maybelline. And for my eyes, I'm gonna do some gold eyeshadow. So I'm using the Dare to Create um, palette by Morphe and it's in the number 39A. For my transition colors, I used a like a an orangey color as well as a as a chocolate brown color and I blend and I'm blending those together just to create like a nice natural transition color pretty much. And now I'm just adding some concealer to my lid and this is just so that the eyeshadow that I put on my lid um, will stick better and pop even more. So this is a, it's like a glitter gold eyeshadow. It doesn't really glitter, it has more of like a metallic sheen to it. And I got this from Forever 21 and it's just in the color gold. It has a little applicator brush that makes it so easy to apply the eyeshadow. And I end up using this more often if I'm trying to go for like a medium glam kind of look. And 
and I'm just using the brush now just to blend in um, the transition color with the gold eyeshadow so it doesn't look too harsh. So I did put on some eyeliner off camera and now I'm just using some mascara um, just to base my eyelashes before I apply my lashes. And I'm just using some falsies that I received from a hair company. I'm not sure the name or the style. So before I put on my foundation, I'm just gonna spray my face with um, some MAC, some MAC um, setting spray. And the foundation I'm using is from Maybelline Fit Me. I believe it's in the color Mocha. And I'm also gonna add some Lumi Drops. It, it just, um, it's just a gold, um, it's a gold liquid that you blend with your foundation just to give you more of a, you know, a glowy gold look. I definitely love this foundation because it is a full coverage and I have a lot of dark spots to cover up. So this works so good for me. So now I'm just highlighting and con concealing with the LA Pro Conceal in the color Fawn. It's the same color that I used on my eyebrows. And then I'm just buffing it out with, um, with a foundation brush. And I'm gonna set it using the same set and smooth um, setting powder from Maybelline Fit Me. Now I'm gonna contour um, just using a contour palette that I got from my local beauty supply store. And I absolutely love contouring. I always include it in my like in my makeup routine. It just gives you it just gives me much more of an edge. Let me know if you guys are doing anything for Valentine's Day or if you don't know yet. Or if you even celebrate Valentine's Day, let me know in the comment section below. So I'm using Raisin from MAC as my blush today, and it's an oldie but a goodie. And I'm just using some MAC Gold Deposit and I'm spraying it with my setting spray, and this just helps the, the highlight pop even more. And now I'm just smoking out my bottom lid using one of the transition colors that I had used on my crease. And now I'm just lining my waterline. And now I'm just using some mascara to add some more drama to my bottom lashes. For my lips, I'm gonna be using Max Ruby Woo, and I know this is very old, but this is my absolute first time purchasing this lipstick and wearing it, and I'm so excited, especially because it's because it's for Valentine's Day, so I just think it's a perfect fit. This lipstick is a matte lipstick, so it can come across as very dry. So just be aware that if you're ever to purchase it or if you're new to it, but nonetheless, the color is very classic and it just absolutely pop. So now it's time to style my hair. So I'm just gonna coat my hair using the Fructus Garnier uh, sleek and shine so this is gonna add sheen and act as a heat protector as well I'm gonna let you guys just watch as I go through the motions and I must say for Valentine's Day I absolutely just opted 
for wearing my short hair um, because I feel more comfortable in my short hair and it's also a plus that hubby loves it as well. Once I'm finished curling my hair, I like to loosen the curls a little bit using my fingers as well as a wide tooth comb. So this just helps it not look so neat and no, no one really wants that tight granny type of curl if you know what I mean. So yeah, this is pretty much like my finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, let me know if you guys celebrate Valentine's Day. If you don't celebrate Valentine's Day, that's fine. Don't forget to treat yourself special anyways. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.